Hello gamers! NVIDIA new app is already released. And today, we will test NVIDIA Automatic Tuner. How good it is? Let's find out. New NVIDIA app looks absolutely fabulous. Nice graphic interface and lots of new features. In home screen you can see your installed games, software, and can discover and explore new NVIDIA apps and software. Under Drivers tab, you can see the installed driver version and can check for updates if there is any and can be download and install. Under Graphics tab, you can change graphics settings globally which will affect to all games and program or under program settings, you can change graphics settings by each game individually. I would not change any setting here, I would rather leave. Under System tab, there are information about the display or your monitor where you can set or configure like refresh rate, resolution, etc. Under Video tab, you can set RTX video enhancements like Video Super Resolution and HDR. Under My Rig tab, you can see information about installed operating system, drivers, CPU, RAM, storage, and GPU details. Finally, we move to the Performance tab where we want to focus today. Under Performance tab, you can see lots of options to view, statistics about the GPU installed, and you can customize it as well, either automatic or manually. We will go for automatic tuning. It's very simple, just turn on this feature, and it will start tuning the GPU automatically. Normally it takes 15 to 20 minutes, but varies according to you system specs. It is recommended please don't use PC while tuning your GPU. When tuning completed you can see there is some increment in core clock 139 MHC and memory clock increment to 200 MHC. There is a restore button pressing this, your overclock GPU will be reset to stock values. After completing auto-tune, we tested few games for hours, and amazingly the temps were normal, or same there was no crash or artifacts at all. So we assume this overclock is 100% safe. Now it's time to see the difference in performance.so first we run 3 Mark Steel Nomad test. Steel Nomad, 3 Mark's latest GPU benchmark, is the official successor of 3 Mark popular time spy tool, which debuted 8 years ago. PC Games hardware benchmarked Steel Nomad and discovered it's a worthy successor to Time Spy, making even NVIDIA's RTX 4090 struggle a bit. Steel Nomad is explicitly designed to push the limits of the latest GPU hardware. 3D Mark says that the newest generation of NVIDIA and AMD GPU hardware is so fast that it has reached the limits of what Time Spy is capable of. Steel Nomad rectifies this issue by significantly increasing the GPU graphics workload. The new benchmark comes in two formats, a vanilla Steel Nomad version and Steel Nomad Lite, a much lighter counterpart aimed at lightweight devices with integrated graphics and smartphones. The hallmark of Steel Nomad is its rasterized only graphics, which sets it apart from 3 Mark's other ray-traced benchmarks like Speedway. This makes it an excellent tool for comparing rasterized GPU performance, which is still a legitimate performance category, even as games continue to adopt ray-tracing graphics. Many modern games still forego RT graphics, such as Sony's latest PC port, Horizon, Forbidden West. The fully-fledged version of Steel Nomad utilizes a hefty 4K render resolution, combined with volumetric lighting, volumetric cloud calculations, and Intel's XEGTAO ambient occlusion. After running the whole benchmark, it produced this results with recording. If we compare to the stock results with recording, the difference is not very big. While recording the benchmark results are different than actual benchmarks. So we tested further without recording, and these are actual benchmarks results without recording. We also benchmarked the GPU with manual overclock and undervolt settings. We already showed how to undervolt RTX 3060 and added the link in description. Our second benchmark software is Unigine Heaven. Heaven Benchmark with its current version 4.0 is a GPU-intensive benchmark that hammers graphics cards to the limits. This powerful tool can be effectively used to determine the stability of a GPU under extremely stressful conditions, as well as check the cooling system's potential under maximum heat output. Yes, this current 4.0 version is very old, which was released back in 2013. But gamers and overclockers still using this amazing and free benchmark tool, to compare GPU performance with stock and overclock scores. The benchmark immerses a user into a magical steampunk world of shiny brass, wood, and gears. Nested on flying islands, a tiny village with its cozy, sun-heated cobblestone streets, and a majestic dragon on the central square gives a true sense of adventure. 
An interactive experience with flyby and walkthrough modes allows for exploring all corners of this world powered by the cutting-edge Unigen engine that leverages the most advanced capabilities of graphics APIs and turns this bench into a visual masterpiece. After running the benchmark test, the results again showed little difference than stock. As you can see, the numbers and results are no big difference. The benchmark test is pass mark score. And again, the results did not show much difference than other software. In the end, the conclusion is, NVIDIA Auto-Tune is a 100% safe overclock. It is recommended by NVIDIA and it will not void warranty. But it's for beginners. Expert overclockers can obtain big performance boost with custom overclock even better than ours results. But overclocking results are still limited. Nowadays, upscaling features like DLSS, FSR, RSR, and frame generation can boost performance by 300%. Please watch my other videos about how to obtain best performance from a GPU and how to build a balanced gaming PC in low budget. I also publish videos how to choose a GPU according to the needs of a gamer which does not break the bank. Here we can end this video. Please let us know how did you find this video in the comments and share your results. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.